Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. 2020 was a year. While we face unprecedented challenges here on Earth, this year we reached new heights and celebrated a historic milestone in the life of the International Space Station. America has launched. For the first time since the end of the space shuttle program in 2011, we launched American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. NASA's SpaceX Demo-2 mission was a resounding success, with the SpaceX Dragon delivering NASA's Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken from the Florida coast to the International Space Station and returning them safely to waters back home. It marked a number of historic firsts for NASA and commercial space, and since it went so well, we ran it back just a few months later. The Crew-1 mission, our first full-duration mission on a commercial spacecraft, launched this November and delivered four astronauts to station, including the first of our international partners to catch a ride. Mike, Victor, Shannon, and Suichi hit the ground running as we can now permanently increase our long-duration crew size in space, effectively doubling the amount of research done on the orbiting lab. In November held special significance as we marked 20 continuous years of humans living and working aboard the space station. To anybody watching this right now, born after November 2nd, 2000, you have never known a world where every human being was on Earth's surface at the same time. Countless men and women across the globe have worked to make the first 20 years of work on station an era of discovery, which we believe has only just begun. And that was just a taste of all the triumphs we packed into 2020 for the International Space Station. Throughout the year, we saw four crewed launches fly to the station, split between the SpaceX Dragon and the Russian Soyuz. Ten NASA astronauts, six Russian cosmonauts, a European and a Japanese astronaut called the station home this year, where they performed eight spacewalks and welcomed seven cargo vehicles from Russia, Japan, Northrop Grumman, and SpaceX, including the newest version of Cargo Dragon. And earlier this spring, NASA's Christina Cook returned home after setting a record for the longest single space flight by a woman. Commercial resupply missions enabled more than 100 new U.S. science investigations and technology demonstrations, continuing to improve on our capabilities for the Artemis missions to our moon and directly benefiting life back on Earth. We even managed to make the station a little bit bigger with the new NanoRacks airlock arriving at the end of the year for installation before 2020 comes to a close. With 2020 now in the rear view, we're poised for a 2021 every bit as packed. We'll hit the ground running in January with spacewalks to upgrade a number of station systems, enabling new science platforms and making sure the station will be fully capable for years to come. Our commercial crew provider, Boeing, will make a run to station again in the reflight of their orbital flight test mission, setting us up for another historic first later in the year when three NASA astronauts put Starliner through the paces in its first crewed launch. We'll have plenty of cargo flights, including the first planned flight of Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser, the newest entrant in our cargo fleet. And as we continue to expand the capabilities and opportunities for commercial companies on station and in low Earth orbit, we'll be on the lookout for new milestones and adding a commercial module and additional facilities and potentially the first commercial astronaut mission to the space station. Well, that will do it for us in 2020. We do hope you get a chance to catch your breath over the holidays and we're just able to share in some of the excitement that human spaceflight brought in this pretty unprecedented year. As always, thank you for watching. Keep sending in those questions using the hashtag AskNASA and we'll see you next year.